by Geographers. Welcome to our lessons on push and pull factors. This video will cover lesson one, introduction to push and pull factors. Uh, last lesson we did two uh, activities for our introduction to our unit on place and livability. And if you want the link to this website, check out the description below as well. So let's get started. You're to know and to be able to, you're gonna write down uh, for your heading for this lesson is to know push and pull factors. So this is what you need to know by the end of the lesson and you're to be able to is identify what draws people to cities and what pushes them away. So what are push and pull factors? I want you to write down this down in your books. Uh, it is gonna take a bit of writing this lesson, uh, some essential notes for you. So make sure you go ahead and write this. So push and pull factors refer to the movement of people and goods. We often associate push and pull factors with migration, the movement of people nationally and internationally. So push factors are things that drive people away and pull factors other things that attract people. Um, after you finish writing that, we're gonna watch this video on uh, zombie geography. It's really cool, it goes through um, push and pull factors and why you would want to live in some places compared to others in a zombie apocalypse, and it compares them to real life, so it's very fun. The next activity after that video, guys, is you're gonna write down this list of pull and push factors in your books. You need to be able to remember these and refer back to them during the unit. So let's start with your pull factors while you're writing. So you've got employment opportunities, promise of a higher standard of living, entertainment, a large variety of restaurants, sporting facilities, shopping centres, theatres, etc. Medical facilities and educational opportunities. So these are the things that attract people to live in certain places. If you know your cities or your towns have these things, people are going to come and live there. Now these are your push factors. What pushes people away from certain places? What makes them leave? So we've got war and civil disorder, desertification, Rapid population growth, rural poverty, lack of educational opportunities, intolerance of alternate lifestyles, and lack of employment opportunities. So if your city or your town or your region has these things, it's gonna push people away from that area. Let's go through the factors where people live. Uh, so these are the things that affect where people like to live. So for each factor, write down the factor and think of a reason why that factor could affect where a person might want to live. So I'll go through them together now. So writing down attachment of a place and then writing down how can people be attached to a place. So the first factor is an attachment to place that affects where people might want to live. For instance, my favorite family holiday location is in a beach town called Woolai in New South Wales. So I might want to live close to that because that's my favorite holiday location as well. Distance from family and friends. How could the distance between family and friends affect where someone might like to live? So for instance, I've recently moved to a city and I didn't want to move to a city that was too far away from my family and friends back home where I come from because I know I wanted to see them again and be able to see them when I want to without having to travel hours and hours. Employment opportunities, that's your next factor. So how might the, uh, opportunity of employment affect where someone might like to live and what types of places have more job opportunities so we're going to discuss and think about that together as well Afford affordability is the next one so you wouldn't want to live in a, a place or a suburb or a town you couldn't actually afford to live in you couldn't afford to buy a house you couldn't afford to pay rent stage of life is the next one how might your stage of life how old you are affect where you might like to live we see a lot of retirees like to live on the coast because they've developed money over their lives and they can afford it, but they've also got a more peaceful lifestyle there as well compared to a bustling city. Lifestyle considerations. How would the way someone lives affect where they would like to live? So if you're a party person, you might like to live in Ibiza in Spain. Um, or if you, you know, you're quiet, you're a bookworm, you know, you're kind of an introvert, quite solitary, you might want to live in the hinterlands of New South Wales or something where it's quite peaceful and calm. Safety, why are safer places more desirable to live in? That one's fairly obvious. You've got environmental factors. So how might the environment of a place affect where someone likes to live? So for instance, me, I could never live in uh, Sydney or Melbourne. It's too cold for me. So I could never live in one of those cities. And then lastly, travel and transport options. How might access to public transport affect where a person would like to live? And how might the time it takes for someone to get to work affect where they would like to live? So for instance, in Delhi and India, it takes them three hours uh, to get to work. So they hold meetings and stuff in their cars uh, in the mornings. So you would probably wouldn't want to wait three hours uh, to get to work. You'd probably want to get there a bit quicker. Um, you can see this is a tram from San Francisco. They have a very good 
public transport system, and a lot of people like living there um, because of the tram. Same as Melbourne in Victoria as well. So after we've written uh, our discussion and our factors, you're going to do a Kahoot, okay? And if you can just click on the Kahoot button there. As a class, you'll be able to play that together. And that's a Kahoot on push and pull factors just to really test how well you've been able to achieve your Tanama to be able to. So thanks for watching this video, your instructional video for lesson one, introduction to push and pull factors on my place and livability website. If you want to stay updated to any changes I make to any of my websites or any new videos I make, please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys for lesson two, practicing how to identify push and pull factors.